Watch. <laughs> Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Oh, God, stop. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Salutare tuturor și bine ați revenit la un nou episod din seria Red Dead Redemption 2. În episodul trecut am fost împreună cu Daci și Lenny și am încercat să jefuim acea stație de tramvaie de care ne-a zis Angelo Bronte, dar nu s-a terminat prea bine. Hai să vedem ce misiune avem. Avem o misiune cu acest inventator pe care l-am ajutat și data trecută în Sendeni cu acele mici vaporașe. Iar acum se pare că are o nouă misiune pentru noi. Hai să vedem despre ce e vorba. Se pare că are un fel de laborator aici. You are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved the biggest problem, and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, well, well, it, uh, it is uh, the geometry of life. Uh, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> I solved it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I need. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Yeah, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. Hai să vedem, vrea să plasăm acești conductori în anumite locuri.
wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. What well, now? Well, now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this! Cred că are un fel de monstru Frankenstein aici, pe care încearcă să-l aducă la viață. Se vedem, trebuie să aprindem toate aceste trei luminițe. Ah, ok, e doar un robot. Hai să vedem dacă îl poate aduce la viață, cum zice el. Second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine bottle a few steps. I have a son. <laughs> I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> I, those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Ok, cred că în viitor va mai avea o misiune pentru noi. Hai să mergem în Saint Denis să vorbim cu Charles. Și se pare că va trebui să mergem și la un oficiu de poștă. Probabil avem o scrisoare sau ceva.
Get yourself some real food, huh? Listen, you have to take this. Well, that's real kind of you. I lost my money playing poker. with me. Okay. My friend, my friend, it is me, Charles Chatonnet, the painter. <laughs> okay, what are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say, leave, go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint-Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> Okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, Miss. O să vedem, se pare că vrea să părăsească Sendeni și va trebui să-l ajutăm să urce pe un vapor. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. I know those men. Quick, behind here! We stay behind here! Quick! <laughs> we are away! Come now! Follow me! Who's better? On their bar? But of course, I needed to shit! Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. We go through here. Oh, it's Nathan. Um, I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Now get moving, come on. Morning. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of failures. Not so much. The new kinds? The holy affairs. We go through there. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Bar shit, money borrowing, wife stealing. You 
sure got a way of ingratiating yourself from people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth, that is something that matters. Oh, well, it's good to know. Look at you, pretty little thing. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, boys. Come on. Come on, man, now, baby. I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. well good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I got him. He's out here. Uh, more friends? I'll deal with him. I am not so weak, huh? Charles? Come on, you better hope this ship's leaving soon. Ah, merci, merci. All aboard of the South Pacific. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Ok, se pare que ça vient chez problème avec Oleja. Să nu ne găsească aici Cred că am scăpat. Hai să vedem ce scrisori avem.
do you Thanks. think? Se pare că trebuie să prindem câteva animale și avem o invitație și de la primar. Deocamdată vom merge la noi în tabără pentru că questul primarului nu pare să fie activ. Sora până la noi în tabără, va trebui să mergem călare. Hai să-l ajutăm și pe acest străin. Se pare că cineva i-a răpit familia. Hai să-i dăm de mâncare la aligatori. Mm. 
Just one more. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Hai să vedem unde se află Dodge. E undeva sus. you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. It just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. Vom merge după Angelo Bronte. De ce nu? I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. If you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational. Sorry, girl. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job? 
or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Must be the fellas here to see Thomas. Martin B. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. Lui se vedem, va trebui să-l găsim pe Jules, partenerul lui Thomas. Thomas e dispus să ne ducă la casa lui Angelo Bronte, să-l putem ataca din spre mlaștină. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Dutch. You keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch. You show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peace. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? 
Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Sooner we get this done, sooner I can help you boys. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Sper să nu ne atace niciunul din acei aligatori. stuck in the mud. It happens. <clears throat> Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Someone there? Hello? That must be him. He pare să se fie urcat într-un copac. Ne se vedem dacă putem urca la el. Be Jews. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. 
I ran. I... Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? Back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Hey, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. Cred că o să-l mănânci aligatorul. Noi va trebui să mergem. Nu pare să-l rănească nimic pe acest aligator. Cred că-i scăut. 
Shit, now there's one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleed. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Brunty. He's a bad man. I don't know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <clears throat> well. Ok, să vedem, va trebui să mergem să ne întâlnim cu Daci. Probabil o merge să-l atacăm pe Angelo Bronte. Hai să vedem, se pare că în sfârșit vom merge după Angelo Bronte. Thomas, 
Let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys gotta prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Now you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. Find some cover. Two up ahead.
Lenny, keep that door covered. Let's check upstairs. He's not down here. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Hey, big man, we gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be disposed of. <laughs> Our friends of Pinkerton's <laughs> gonna come and rescue you, you <laughs> repulsive little maggot. <laughs> 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 You call them! Jesus! What part of your philosophy books cover feeding the fellow? The goddamn alligator, Dutch! The part that covers weakness. That part. 
I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Cam asta a fost și cu Angelo Bronte. Vă încheie aici acest episod. Mulțumesc tuturor celor care au rămas până la final. Dacă v-a plăcut, nu uitați să lăsați și voi un like, un subscribe. Eu am fost Mr. M și ne auzim data viitoare.